Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a modern one box for Windows 11. As you'll know, the Windows Plus R menu in Windows 11 is pretty old, it dates back to Windows 7. I think it is pretty much the same since then. This menu could use a change from Microsoft, but until they do an official change, we can get a third party tool that will help us get the modern ROM box that we would want in Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these where we talk about different tips and tricks that you can try in Windows 11, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one before starting with the video a quick message from our video sponsor this video is sponsored by keysfan.com. Keysfan offers cheap and legal OEM software keys which are 100% genuine. This is their product page which features special offers for Windows 10, 11 and also Office 2021 licenses. The best offer on the website in my opinion would be the Windows 10 Pro license which is $15 but using my coupon code you'll be able to get half of this price. Just click on add to cart to get it and then click on view cart. In the right side click on apply discount code and use the discount code TB15 for a 50% discount and the final price for the Windows 10 Pro key will be $758. You can click on proceed to checkout and you'll have some payment methods such as credit card or PayPal. Check out keysfan.com from the links below in the description and get your Windows or Office license today. The tool that we're going to talk about today is called Run from Firecube Studios and for now it is only available on GitHub. You will have the download link in the article below in the description. You can see here a preview of how the app looks and you can download it for your preferred architecture. You can also go into the releases section. I'm just going to go here and click on that download link. Here of course you'll have instructions on how to install it but don't worry I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to download the zip file. Once we downloaded the zip file we just need to right click on it and then click on extract all. And and then click on extract. Go into the extracted folder and then double click on the next folder. First of all, you're going to see here a file which is called security certificate. Right click on it. The extension is .cer and after you right click on it, click on install certificate and then click on open. Select from here local machine and then click on next. On user account control, click on yes. Select place all certificates in the following store and then click on browse and select trusted root certification authorities. Click on OK, then click on next and then click on finish. As you can see, the import was successful. Now you're going to locate the M6 file, right click on it and then click on open to open it with the app installer and then click on install. It's going to install the required frameworks and so on. The process is pretty simple in my opinion and you're going to see that the final result will be really, really nice. A few mentions from the developer of this app, because the app uses UN UI 3 framework, some portions have bugs like title bar dragging, the history flyout doesn't go out of the window due to Win UI 3, and no administrator mode support yet. After we go through the setup, we can click on start using app, and we can also find it by searching into the search box. As you can see, the app looks pretty good in my opinion. It has a very nice design, and it goes very well with Windows 11. Hopefully Microsoft will implement this by default sometimes in the near future. We also have the settings icon where we have a few things that we can apply, for example, remaining background, also keyboard shortcut, Windows plus Shift plus R because Windows plus R will just open the default one. And also we have two themes. We have the compact theme, as you can see here, is a pretty interesting theme. And we also have the classic theme, which looks really nice in my opinion. And we have the same functions such as browse and run. For example, let's type something in here, CMD, let's run it. And you're going to see that it's successfully running as easy as that. Windows Shift R to open the run box again. It's really, really nice. We also have history here for the commands that we ran. So I think that's pretty cool. And also the developer of this app says, since the app is still in preview, I'm more than welcome to open issues for bugs and features on GitHub and it will be very, very helpful. Also, the developer is mentioning that he will have a store release for the app and that app will have many new features such as new themes and so on. So maybe we'll do a different video once the store app is released. But for now, you can simply download the run app or software from the github of firecube studios you're going to have the download link and the article below in the video's description and of course don't forget to file issues if you find any and he will work on implementing a fix for each and every issue so this was the video for today i hope you liked it in my opinion this little software is pretty nice and it changes the design of windows 11 altogether when you're using the run box of course so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activate so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.